But today, we have an environment agency policy here in Norfolk. And I have to say, I think that the policy of managed realignment, that's what they call it, it basically means surrender. It means we're not going to do anything to try and slow the pace of coastal erosion. Whereas across the Netherlands, they built these massive sea defences, and now, with a thing called sand nourishment, they pour millions of cubic, ton, of, of, of cubic tons of sand on their beaches to protect them. And the place that's been in the news in a really big way over the course of the last couple of months is Hemsby on this Norfolk coast. Beautiful sandy beach, lovely place, people losing their homes. Are we adopting the right policy? Well, one man who's been right at the centre of this storm is Dan Hurd, coxswain of the Hemsby Lifeboat. <laughs> Lifeboat. Your lifeboat, you're not part of the RNLI, are you? You, no. you? You're an independent lifeboat. No, nearly 50 years we've been independent uh, due to drownings off Winterton. Um, the local village started up a lifeboat and it's moved on since. And you are an emergency service, which is why you've actually been used and helping people, haven't you? Rescuing people, evacuating people from houses. How bad's it been? It's horrific. If you were down there now today, and like I said uh, this morning, I had a lady come up to me, she's got a property right on the edge, crying, you know, we feel hopeless. If I had £20 million, I'll put that £20 million on that beach to protect her. It's now, just devastating. Clearly, the Environment Agency and the government are rattled by this because it isn't just people losing their houses at Hemsby, they're talking about closing the beach for the whole of the summer. Yeah, well, we're lucky enough the beach is now back open by the contractors, done a fantastic job bringing this rock berm in. So we're now at last bringing some rock in? Yeah, so the rock finished last week. Um, the Environment Agency declared an emergency. Prior to that, we were told there was no rock within the country. Uh, they got 2,000 tonne within two hours from Hopton, which is just up the coast. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely ludicrous that they declare an emergency and they can get this rock granite within the matter of two hours. There's people losing homes. We've got the Hemsby uh, open now for the summer season. That's affecting businesses. There's people cancelling holidays. It, well, yeah, I was talking about second homes earlier, but actually, I mean, Norfolk is a big destination, isn't it? People come and they, you know, Airbnb it. They stay in hotels if they're not filled up with other people. Um, <laughs> they... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> well... I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that. Um, <laughs> you know, the campsites in Norfolk, I mean, these beaches are important in terms of, I mean, for Hemsby, tourism matters, doesn't it? Well, when you look at it, Hemsby brings in £88 million a year. And, tourism. yeah, we've had meetings and they're looking at asking local businesses to contribute towards a rock berm on the beach. Well, to me, they've paid their taxes, they've paid business rates. What is our government doing? You know, they need to sit up and realise with the Environment Agency, these coastlines need protecting. You know, we're, we can fund illegal immigration. I've said we might as well shut the buildings down, house illegal uh, immigrants in the buildings. We're guaranteed a million pound a year per building, and that money can be put into the shoreline. That's just the way we feel at the moment. You feel that's a real council of despair, but that's... Yeah, I do, but there's money being wasted everywhere by this government, and it's just, yeah. So, well... Dan, because of the emergency, we've put some big granite blocks on the beach, but is that actually enough? Well, not really. They've just put a plaster over it, the bad publicity they've got. Yeah. They thought they'd better do something. Yeah. We need some fishtail groins put out to build, bead these unhealthy beach levels up with sand, which will collect the sand and get this rock um, put through as soon as possible. We ain't got a matter of, I would say, another two years, we're going to lose a lot.